Hello everyone! Today I teamed up with Rahul from Rival Reviews to make a video on the top 10 Android apps for July 2017. This is hopefully going to turn into a monthly series that I will do every single month, so make sure you leave a comment down below to let me know if you want me to continue this. But without letting you wait any longer, let's jump right in. First on the list, we have IFTTT. This is an app that has many features, and I mean there is a lot, so I'm not gonna say all of them. So some of the features include getting an alert as soon as there is a new Craigslist ad listing that matches your search, automatically messaging roommates when you're near the local grocery, receive custom daily forecast notifications, backup and share your Android photos automatically, trigger event based on your current location, and etc. There is so much this app automates, I just cannot say more. So go check it out. In second place we have Photo Director. This app is a simple to use photo editor that allows you to make your photos look very awesome. When you open up the app, you can quickly click the camera button to take a quick snap and then edit it right off of the app or edit the looks even before you take your picture. It also has undo and redo buttons while you're editing and that's very good because most of the other photo editing apps that I looked at don't have undo or redo buttons. The last point to make is that this app teaches you everything about the app while you're using it. So that's a very good thumbs up. This app definitely has some cool features, so I highly recommend checking it out if you want to edit videos on the go. Dark Tops is an AMOLED wallpaper app. It brings you an amazing premium collection of dark wallpapers for your smartphone. Did you know that dark wallpapers act like a battery saver on AMOLED display smartphones? These AMOLED wallpapers are specifically designed for the purpose of saving battery, by installing dark tops, you will get a premium collection of high resolution dark wallpapers. These dark wallpapers look amazing on your home screen, plus they'll reduce the power consumption for your Android device and increase the screen on time up to 15%. I highly recommend checking this out. Next, here we have the Broken Screen Prank app. This pranky little app is one that allows you to make someone's phone appear to be cracked. It has a nice, very nice 3D effect, making it really, really realistic. Until, of course, you touch your phone to find out you've been tricked. It comes with four different types of cracks, cracks, and you decide whether it should crack when they touch the screen, or if it should crack when they shake their phone. Finally, the last feature it has is a lock screen feature, or lock feature actually, which basically locks them out of their phone and gives out some cool animations when they try to use it. Overall, if you want to prank someone with this app, this is perfect for you. Mobile racing is a game genre that has not yet been fully developed. Most people say that they are not as good as the PC counterparts, or are they? Meet Real Racing 3, a game developed by Electronic Arts. This game is feature packed and is most likely the best racing game on mobile to date. This game features realistic tracks and cars with very realistic physics. The graphics are not bad, but they are not too demanding either, so this game works fine on older smartphones. The game also features officially licensed tracks to drive on too. Basically, if you're into racing and want a quickie to play on the go, then go ahead and pick up this one. Next up, we have Voxer Walkie Talkie Messenger. That's a pretty long name. This is an app that allows you to text with your voice. I don't even know if that makes sense, but basically it works just like texting, only you use live voice chatting instead. You can of course text in this app too, but the main feature is this. This is the perfect app for you if you want to talk with your friends and family but don't want to pay for texting and prefer to talk. All you have to do is set up, a, set up an account with Voxer and you're all ready to go to start live voice chatting. 
So once in a while, everyone needs to share something on their phone. Usually, people just record it with the camera, but what if you want to be a pro? Then download the A-Powersoft screen recorder. This recorder is feature packed. It has a tiny widget to get things working. You are able to record really high resolution videos at 60fps, time lapse your videos, change the orientation of the recording and much much more. If you need a screen recorder for your phone, I highly recommend this one. Okay, in reality, everybody loves to play those old retro games sometimes. Sonic the Hedgehog is the perfect game to enjoy some pixelated retro fun. It's an exact copy of the original game and it's very fun to play. Basically, this is a game where you race at really fast speeds across the seven classic zones as Sonic the Hedgehog. Run and spin through loop-de-loops as you collect rings and defeat enemies on your mission to save the world from the evil Dr. Eggman. The controls are simple, a joystick and button, however the on-screen joystick is not too small like most apps, and it's actually pretty easy to use. If you're looking for a new addictive game, you should be sure to try this one out. In ninth place, we got End Launcher. End Launcher is a launcher app that makes your Android phone look like it's running Android Nougat 7.0. What I like about this app is that it integrates with your phone so well. Unlike most other launchers, this does not make your phone have a big performance hit. And if you don't believe me, Techie Pocket is running this on his $35 smartphone right now, and it works like a charm. If you want Android Nougat, but you are unable to purchase a new phone right now, I can highly recommend checking this out. Last on this list is the Pixel Icon Pack. The Pixel Icon Pack is basically the app it says it is. It is an icon pack that you can use along with a launcher to make your phone look like the Google Pixel. I would recommend you download this along with the end launcher we mentioned earlier to make your phone look really awesome. Anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a like and subscribe to both Rival Reviews and the Techie Pocket channel. Links are down below. Otherwise, leave a dislike to let us know you hate it and tell us what you think about this video in the comments down below. I'll talk with you all in the next video. Bye.